Thank you for coming to my little tropical farm. We moved to this small farm in Panama from Los Angeles. We're setting up a homestead that'll include a garden, a food forest, and animals. Please join us on our journey. Today we're just walking out to check on the little chickies. Here they are. We brought Bonnie with us and she has never seen chicks before. So she's very curious. I'm gonna give them some food and water um, just so they can get through the night because we are heading into town today. So Bonnie was really curious about the chicks and um, Shauna's gonna show her one. Bonnie. She's very gentle with it. A little curious, but not crazy. Okay, so I came down this morning to check on my chicks and something got two of them. Uh, not sure what, but it's not pretty. The rest of them look really good. So I'm gonna put the rest of them, who look good but a little scared, in back in the mini brooder uh, till they get a little bigger. Today we'll do a quick garden tour for you. Um, we'll start with the black beans. As you can see, they've been eaten. Uh, but this little one is doing okay. This one's doing okay, and on this side, not so much. The ones in the middle are gone. So I will probably actually try and replant. I think I have enough time in the season to do that. This is my um, peppercorn plant, and it, I think, is getting too much sun. Um, but it's doing okay, holding its own, I guess. And now we'll walk over to the garden and uh, see what's over there. Um, it, it seems, whoa, as I trip over a coconut on the ground, it seems like more and more um, plants are popping up that I actually had given up on. So let me show you what we have. We have one little flower here. Um, this whole row was flowers and they've mostly died, but we have the one and we'll see if we get a flower from it. Um, that was just kind of a th fun thing to do. Um, we're not, we have a, I've a, planted a bunch of things that I wasn't sure were gonna grow. And so we haven't had super luck with them. Um, you can see my watermelon patch is still doing great. Uh, wondering if I have too many here, but because of the high rain we get, I think it's okay. Uh, we're gonna just leave them and see what happens. But uh, they're growing great. Let's see, I have a lot of weeds. I threw some carrots in over here and I thought they were not gonna germinate, but here you can see we have a few that germinated. A few more coming up now. And of course, a lot of weeds still. Um, this is actually, uh, I believe a weed. I'm gonna double check before I pull it. But you see a few of these. They're a cucumber, uh, in the cucumber family, but I'm pretty sure they're a weed. Um, I need to do some more research. Here is my mustard greens. They are looking pretty good. Um, I just threw out a whole bunch of mustard seeds into the garden, and they are growing. Um, we have a few here and there. Um, I'm hoping to use the seeds for making mustard, but I may also just use it as greens as they grow. We'll decide. Um, here again is, I think, one of those mustards. I did plant some eggplant. Don't see any of that growing. Over here is my culantro. I mentioned in another video that culantro has a very large tap root. So I didn't think any of them made it, but these three did. And then the three over here didn't. So I ended up, um, putting uh, seeds from the other ones into there. So we'll see if that takes hold. These are just two extra loofahs that I put over here. Uh, let's take you over to the loofah because we did have a loofah flower, which was kind of fun. Um, I can't imagine, I thought it was a male, but it was a female. I can't imagine that it uh, pollinated because I think it was the only flower. But 
maybe we'll get lucky and that'll grow. I have a feeling it won't, but maybe it will. Um, and then right next to that is our cucumber. Cucumbers are starting to do really well. Um, I was going to put a shade cloth over these because the uh, loofah does tend to get droopy during the day, during the when the sun's really high in the sky and really hot. But um, I was told that they really don't need shade cloth. So, and I just, as you can see, put rice hulls down there, really just to help keep the grass from coming up. Oh, look at that moth. I don't know what that is, but there are a few of them around. Hopefully they're not laying things on my cucumbers, laying eggs that are gonna be caterpillars that are gonna kill them. Okay, now we'll walk back to the food forest from the garden. Um, and I'll show you what we have growing there. Now you can already see my bananas. I have a bazillion, okay, that's an exaggeration, but I probably have 30 or 40 banana trees all over the property. And as of now, we have none growing any bananas. Um, so hopefully that will come out soon. Uh, we'll see something growing something. But we'll walk by here into our food forest. Okay, so you can see the nyame looks great. Um, some of them are growing really well. Just right up those posts. A few more banana or plantain trees. Um, oh, here's my mulberry. I'm backtracking a little bit. Um, I do want to get a net to put over this, but this is my mulberry. Some of the fruit is looking great. Um, I'm told that if it's a black mulberry bush, which I think it is, or tree, the, the mulberries need to be black for about three days to be their sweetest. So we'll come back here in a day or so see what we have over here. My sugar cane is continuing to grow. Um, we did go to the Vivaro and bought a bunch of things. Oh, here's one of my um, pineapples. They don't seem to be doing anything, but they haven't died. So I'm going to just be grateful for that um, because next we could look at my guavas. So here is a dead guava tree. Now, she gave me some bare root guava that didn't look healthy when she gave it to me, but it definitely wasn't healthy because they have died. Here is my other guava that has died. I have one guava that doesn't look great, but it's not dead. So hopefully that will come back. And then I have the two papaya plants that have been planted. They look good. I, she did not have any mango, but I'd love to get mango. Mango grows quite a large tree. Um, we do have some over here, some soursop that's looking good. Um, that looks fabulous. It's growing. It's got quite a few fruits on it. So this one is hard, so it's not ready. But... And here's a whole bunch of trees with fruits on them. This looks like soursop as well, but it doesn't look as healthy. And then let me show you what was just planted. I didn't plant this. Mario came over and planted it all. Um, and it's not super easy to see, but I will show you. So there's three rows here. And here you can see this is um, yucca, also called cassava, and it makes tapioca. And he planted a huge amount of it, which is awesome. Um, should give us a lot of yucca. So yucca is a, a root vegetable. Um, you pull up the plant and harvest the roots. It takes about a year to two years to um, have the roots. And uh, we planted another tree here. I honestly am not sure what this is. It might be a tiny guava, but I don't think so. I think she gave us something else. I'll have to look that one up. Well, that's our garden as of now. And uh, each week it gets just a little bigger. I should say our garden and our food forest. 
Each week gets a little bigger and we do a little more. Today we went up to Santa Fe to go to the market that they um, put on once a month. It's on the first Saturday of every month. So Sean and I went up there and uh, had a great time. We actually spent hours there. Um, first person we ran into uh, said, oh, I saw you at, at Do It Center the other day. Do It Center is kind of like Home Depot, uh, although not quite as big. And, um, and then I immediately realized that I had met her two years ago when she showed me one of the houses I looked at before I bought the farm. Um, so we chatted for a while and we ended up buying some chili jam from her. Um, also got some soap and ate some focaccia, some tart, and uh, chatted with a lot of the expats there, which was really fun. Unfortunately, I did not pull out my camera. I completely forgot about it. So I apologize. Um, next month, we'll try and take some video of, of it. We will definitely go back. It was really fun. Uh, just a small little market with, with crafts and uh, whatnot. Um, some other things we did, we bought some chocolate tea. I'll let you know how that is once we try it. And um, had a fun time. Um, after going to La Colorada uh, horse, horse Parade and Rodeo the other day, this was another fun adventure in Veraguas. <laughs> We brought the chicks into the house and they're in the warmest area of the house, which is actually the master closet. They, uh, we have a dehumidifier going in here and it gives off a lot of heat. So they're all looking pretty good. The one that wasn't doing well is sitting up by the water, still not doing well, but he's made it through the night and he's standing, which is a big plus. Um, barely walking, but a little bit and uh, he's probably gonna fall right now. And Sh Sean has shown Yogi and Peaches the chicks and they're very curious. I don't know if you can see out of the lower left corner is Yogi peeking his head out. Look at the chickies. They are a lot more curious than Bonnie was. That's what's been going on the farm this week. Glad you could join us. Now, um, if only we could get Yogi to leave the chicks. She, he just does not want to leave their side. Um, but we'll give you an update on that next week. If you want to follow along, please make sure you subscribe and hit notify so you know when our next video comes out. Thanks for joining us. Bye.